You got a lighter on you? I got one, but it's fucking not coming out. <laughs> Damn, everyone's eating shit today, dude. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, what were we talking about? Oh, there's so much Keith. Dang, a fucking pothead. Peep the room. Be sure to, you know, get this guy here, though. This wonderful painting that my friend gave me. It's a, uh, I don't know who actually painted it, but I love this painting. My thesis, I guess we're, do we're already doing a day in life, huh? Got my college thesis here. The title of the work is, Keezy's Works in Days, a Discourse on Ethics. It's 69 pages long, and I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> come, come check it out here. It was a completely accidental, but it was a very happy accident. Boom, 69. My fucking, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm fucking talking about. All right. Are we, go, are we doing this? Are we going? Go garage is also a mess, but a good mess. This is the coolest thing actually in the garage right now. It's Danilo's fucking surfboard that he made. A wooden surfboard that uh, he hollowed out and everything. Glass, it's got a little bit of wax on it now. But fucking so cool. This is gonna kill someone though, because fucking this thing is so heavy. I'm shaving board, Dave. I didn't actually show you this. Kevin, Kevin bought bought me a blank today, or yesterday, and we're gonna shape the board during the uh, yeah during our quarantine. I'm gonna make it into a, a twin fin, fishy. It's gonna be small and good. And of course my bike, my baby, had it forever. Been working on it forever. She's running great now. Let's see if it will start. Fucking my battery's been dying. I don't have a choke. Nope, she didn't want to start today. Ah, it's okay, <laughs> she'll start tomorrow. <laughs> Danila, sketch me up to the top. We're bombing hills. Oh, I almost fucking died there. Oh, I'm so close to the wheel. Oh, he's kind of sketchy. All oh, over the fucking, oh! Hell yeah, Danila. Thank you, Danila. We got the dank nugs. We got the weed. How much does that cost you? 30 bucks, dude. Dude, very chill. Very chill nice around here. California. Love it, man. Nice. Anton's, Anton's car, Anton's shotgun, that is, that is my fucking seat right there, dude. I get pretty pissed off when I don't get it. The only the people that I think are really good at beating me in shotgun, these are actually my mentors in shotgun, I would say, are Alex and Dylan Casson. Alex Edmund and Dylan Casson. They can kick my fucking ass every they're fucking time. They're on it every time? Yeah, they're on it every goddamn time, dude. And it's fucking annoying. <laughs> Hey Kev, what are you getting? This is the local mart right here. Cool guys, only for the coolest of guys, and we are indeed those guys. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, we're gonna go scooter. You see, yeah, you've seen us on the scooters and stuff. Remember when we were bombing the hills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where are we going? Over there. Is it that long rail? That rail that I, I don't like? No. What rail is it? Handrail? So Handrail? <laughs> All right, I'll shut the fuck up. What kind of spots am I looking for? Uh, bumps to something and roofs, I guess. Something interesting, something that would spark some curiosity. Something I've never seen before. I don't fuck with rails though, I don't really like rails. <laughs> skirt, 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 skirt! Whoa! Just destroy my wheel. Dude, this thing is cool. I used to have a bike like this. Uh, it was a 1965 Suzuki K10. It was the first motorcycle I ever owned. And I fucking traded it. Oh, this is a, one of the, oh, I can't pronounce this name. P-U-C-H. 
This is pretty fucking cool. I hope I hope whoever owns this rides this. They got it tagged up. Although they definitely have a new aftermarket fucking tail light on it. That's. Bleh. I feel like. I moved here thinking that there's gonna be a super sick bike scene. There isn't. I think the bike scene's in Oakland. I mean, there was a swap meet over the weekend, but I didn't go to it because you no know one. I, I texted the dude who ran it. He put his number on Instagram. I was like, "Is anyone there?" Basically, and he was like, "No." <laughs> Should we hop one for shits? Let's see if I can do it. Super slow. Super slow. Super slow. Super slow. <laughs> dude. Oh, I, it's so difficult. But it's possible. I think it's possible. Super slow. Super slow. Oh, you want it. You want it. That's too fast. Too fast. Too fast, Kirk. Too fast. Oh, I almost broke it. Oh, did that bend like crazy? Oh, my God. Oh, no. Sorry, man. I didn't mean to. I really didn't. We'll move on, guys. We'll move on. Sorry, about that. Sorry buddy. Oof. Definitely bent it. I don't even know why that thing is there. Is it sick? I kind of want it. Do you want it? Can you open this? I have to pee really fucking bad. Shit about push to open, alarm will sound. So. Hey, damn it! Oh Jesus! I want it just because of the fucking panther. That is so rad. Oh, it's pretty big though. I think I do got it. It's big, but like straightforward, you know. Just go as fast as you can. Hop as high as you can. The problem is you can't really see the ending because the ass of the. The thing, I, it's fucking long. If I try to nose bonk the ass, I don't think fish I want yeah, long. long yeah, because you want, I want the panther staring you right in the fucking face. All right, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna do it. Be ready. Oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. Hell yeah, hell yeah. That was easy. That was fucking easy. Hell yeah, Dave. No, I would not say I'm an angry man. I would say my emotions come out vibrantly. I don't know, dude. I get mad real quick, uh, but I, I don't get mad like typically in my day to day life. I'm actually a pretty happy guy, I would say. It, it's just when I'm passionate about something and it's not going the way I want it to go. I just just let it all on out. That's really what it is. So yeah, I definitely seem a little psycho, definitely like online and whatnot. But you didn't seem psycho just now. Yeah, I like I'm not I'm not getting mad at every trick, but I'm getting mad at a lot of tricks that I'm trying hard. <laughs> all right, my cigarette's done. Let's get out of here, dude. Who's asking these goddamn questions? I do. I can do a bar spin. My theory actually though is that uh, a lot of people who don't do bar spins are from. Uh, the East Coast in the Midwest because it gets too fucking cold in the winter and you can't do a bar spin. I don't know though, dude. I think bar spins are often a substanceless trick and people are gonna hate me for saying that. But a lot of times it doesn't actually add anything to the trick. It's just, it's just a little extra for no fucking reason. Granted, that's like, I'm talking like doing a bar spin like, like out of a feeble or something. But like a truck is its own trick, right? Like truck driver is its own trick and it's definitely better than 360, but like doing a bar spin out of a manual into a manual, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What are you shaking your head? Don't be hangry at me right now. I don't know how gnarly the hill is and I don't know if I just want to hold on for my dear life or... All right, I'm gonna go. Let's do it. We're going. Sometimes when you're bombing the hill, you're in your little bitch, you put your heel on the wheel and you get a flat spot. I am not sponsored anymore and this is actually quite an inconvenience. <laughs> uh, I hope not. I mean, fuck, who knows? This crack could come back and just kick my ass. But uh, I hope not. I don't think scoots are sentient. God damn it, these questions are ridiculous. I have two different colored eyes, a genetic um, mutation. I think it's called like dichromia or something like that. But yeah, my genes are all fucked up in so many different ways. No, Matt, it does not make me immune to the goddamn coronavirus. <laughs> Fucking fool. Now the real question is, do I shove this down now or do I shove it down later? I'm thinking now. Neither. Rainier. PBR. What do you think? I guess Coors then, if Budweiser Coors. But Coors is too expensive and Budweiser is too shitty. Beer too shotgun and PBR. PBR is definitely the best beer to shotgun. A little warm though. Because we're best friends. And kissing your best friends is cool. <laughs> yeah! It's really because the scooter rule is so homophobic. 
that kissing your homies just vibes everyone out and it's funny. <laughs> I'm full. You want this? Oof. <laughs> That's a hard one. You I actually do kind of hang out with her on Friday sometimes. Not every time though. Last Friday we went to the bar. We had a great day at the bar last Friday with Lucas know. playing pool. Oh yeah, you were sick. We had a great day at the bar last of time. Yeah. yeah. Saying it depends. Stuff in the air. Often. Half and a half. Oh, I ate too much. Oh, I hate way too much. <laughs> Excuse me? Me and my friends kind of want to ride on this. Do you mind sitting somewhere else? We would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Alright. Oh, I was about to die on that one. Oh, that would have been the fucking one, man. Ah! Yeah, dude, that's what I'm fucking talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Ah, yeah. Is that it? Fuck oh. yeah. Hell yeah. Jeez. Hell yeah. Is it good? Oh, Am I gonna like it? I don't like it. Oh my god, guys, what the fuck is wrong with me right now? Fuck! God damn it, Kirk. Why are you so burnt? I just. You ah! <laughs> fucking fuck! I can't. I'm over it. This is so fucking stupid. This is so fucking stupid! I'm over it now. I'm not even. I'm gonna be not mad in five minutes. We're well, here with Surreal. A little background, I, I, I'm from Chicago. Went to school in Portland when I was 18. Yeah, I went to Reed College in Portland, Oregon. I liked Portland, but only to an extent. It, it, it's kind of shitty for scootering. It's kind of shitty for a lot of, oh yeah, Kevin. <laughs> I visited Anton a million times in the Bay over, over the course of my uh, uh, four years in, in Portland, and I fell in love with here. It's fucking paradise in the Bay. And people don't recognize that, but I think they're starting to recognize that it's just fucking paradise here. But now I've been here for about, what, five, six months now? I moved here in September. What, it's March? How many fucking months is that? That's seven months now? That's Holy shit, man. I've been here for a while. Jesus Christ, I've been here for a while. It's seriously sick. Living in Anton Danilla, having a scooter homies around all the time is wonderful. You know, we joke about how we don't actually film enough. We film a lot. We go out at least once a weekend, or at least once a week, and, and we're getting shit done for sure. Towards the end, what happened uh, was I got a cease and desist letter from Satori Wheel, the, the wheel company, the skates company, Satori Wheels. To be fair here, man, I, I, when I started Satori, I was a 16 year old kid and I didn't know that much about copyright. See, I knew what copyright was and stuff, but I didn't know how to go about doing it. And I didn't know Satori Wheels existed either. Um, even though they were pretty core skateboarding, I was completely ignorant of that. And it just so happened I chose the same name as them. My, I chose my name, Satori, from, or the Satori Apparel, from a song I heard that uh, a local skater had made. Uh, he was, I was homies with him and stuff. It wasn't, it wasn't like I was biting off skaters. It was, he used it in a song and I was like, wow, huh? And I looked up the word and thought it was quite fitting for, for the company. So, Satori Movement or whatever the fuck they're called, I can't remember, the wheel company. They sent me a cease and desist letter and I called them a whole bunch and I was like, come on guys, we're in a completely different world. I'm not trying to sell the skaters. No one, I don't give a shit about you guys. You shouldn't give a shit about me. But they threatened to sue and so I had to cut it. Uh, which kind of sucked because we just released Relapse because I'd entered college and wasn't dedicating enough time to the company. I just started to get back into it and then got a cease and desist letter and they had to cut it. Bit of a bummer, but uh... It was a great time. I wouldn't do it again though. I don't think a scooter company is very lucrative. I don't think that I would have a good time doing it. I think it would kill my passion for scootering if I actually tried to start a scooter company and try to make my livelihood off of it. Satori, as it is, I think was a beautiful thing for scootering. And I'm not saying that just because it was my company. I'm saying that because I think it influenced people in, in a good direction. It was a great collaboration between me and my best friends, so. How do I go about filming for a video party and make, oh, it's just suffering. Dying. I like, do what I want to do. I've been filming video parts for a while, and it has been 
a similar process for each part. You have a trick list, you have a spot list, you have trick ideas that you can find spots for and whatnot, and, and you slowly build up a catalog of, of spots and tricks, and then you slowly kick them off. And it's a long process for me. It takes about two years to film a video part, two, two to three years. But I've changed my views on video parts, and at least for this next one, what I want to do. I'm not going to give too much information away, but I am working on a project right now that, that does not adhere to the status quo of, of scooter parts. It'll be the same, but it'll be different. It'll, it, I think it'll show a different side of scootering. The, the truly beautiful side of scootering. Because I think that today, scooter parts don't fully encapsulate what makes our passion so wonderful. I can't claim to know what scootering needs, but I think that if kids truly treat scootering as a form of self-expression, I think that the direction of scootering will trend towards a, in a better direction. Having fun and, and doing what feels good, it, 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 will, it will lead to gnarly or crazier and cooler things that communities of all action sports have never seen before because we have the potential to do things that other action sports cannot do at all. But no one's really tapping into it because everyone bites off of each other and bites off of skating and BMXing and even rollerblading. And so if kids just, just do, like, you, do you, like, do, do what, what feels good. That's, that's what's gonna make scootering better for sure. There needs to be more mixed media in scootering. Like at, at Street Champs and stuff, we always see, you know, kids are now putting out artwork and paired with their videos and whatnot. And I think that's so fucking cool. And it's gotta be so stoked over the past couple of years to see like at Chicago Jam, even at A-Town, we had crazy cool premieres and shit. And oh fuck yeah, homie landed the trick and we filmed it. <laughs> but kids should keep doing that, so keep fucking doing that, man. Keep doing some shit outside of scootering, but related to scootering, because that's cool. That's real cool. There was kind of a mistake, but I ended up kind of impressing them a bit. Oh my oh. God, Kevin. Oh. Ah. Are you all right? Not going down right now. Oh my. Jesus, fuck, we gotta start this one over. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that?